For those of us who fish, we don't often think of fish getting diseases, but they do. In fact, there's a whole chain of National Fish Disease Laboratories, the closest one in La Crosse, Wisconsin. We went there to find out what's happening. I can show you those fish back here if you'd like. In case you didn't know, this is not a fish market. These are bluegill. But these fish are on ice for a reason. Freshwater drum are in here, and these are bigger. The drum, bass, and others are here to, well, help solve fishy mysteries. This is one of the key species for looking at for VHS. They seem to be very susceptible. Almost all the recent fish kills have started with drum. America's sick fish, odd fish, suspiciously dead fish, eventually end up in a lab like this, a U.S. fish health center. There's nine such labs in the country. This one's in La Crosse, Wisconsin, near the Mississippi River. For the moment, a virus called VHS is threatening game fish in the Great Lakes. What's VHS stand for? Viral hemorrhagic septicemia. And it, it's originally a, a European virus. And the hunt is now on. State and federal fish managers routinely gather fish samples searching for evidence of VHS. The reason I'm here is to collect some, a sample of fish, a subsample of these that I will uh, dissect, remove some of the organ tissue and send to our pathology lab in St. Paul and they're gonna test for a viral hemorrhagic septicemia. Back at the lab, the task for fish scientists is to search for causes of fish die-offs and explore other fish mysteries. It all begins with an autopsy. This one might be of interest because it's very common. And there are these little coils. These are a roundworm parasite. It kind of rides along waiting for a bird to eat. This will not harm people. So that's, that's very common. We get a lot of questions about that one. <laughs> Each plate is from a different case. or As you might expect in a fish a disease lab, on, so strange things are growing in refrigerators. We started out with uh, thousands of bacteria here and probably this, this say maybe five or six species and then we spread it out. We want, we want to do is thin it out till we get individual bacteria. Uh, in the hatchery environment we have uh, certain drugs that we can use to uh, treat the fish. In the wild uh, right now, there's really nothing we can do. We just um, uh, note that it's there and um, hope it goes away. Hope it goes away, I guess, yeah. Back in the microbiology lab, the threat of VHS becomes a reality show. This particular uh, cell or group of cells we suspect is infected with uh, VHS or viral hemorrhagic septicemia. And what it does is it causes um, the cells to round up and you'll get these holes in the, in the sheet. There should be a thin layer of, of these cells. All the way across here should be all uniform. While a virus is mostly invisible, the La Crosse lab also looks for the good, the bad, the ugly. A lot of these parasites are very devastating to fish populations, so um, knowing what's present in a population is extremely important. And every day, it's a search for the unknown. We don't have all the answers. And these new diseases pop up, they don't come with a scorecard. It, it's kind of knowledge as you can find it. Viruses, pathogens have come and go. We either work around it or live with the results and move on to the next thing. Fight it now, and then tomorrow it's something else. Nobody said it was easy being a fish. Now, if you'd like more information about the Fish Disease Lab, head to our website, mnbound.com. If you'd like information about clean water, go to conservationminnesota.org.